Well, hello there. I'm Dad Man Walking, and this is another episode of Vanilla Plus. And this is the plan. Basically, it's just going to be a collection of ideas uh, and farms I want to build, and builds I want to build, goals for the series, whatnot. Basically, just a scratch pad. Anyway, I want to take care of some of these today, namely the villager farm and the iron farm. So let's make the builds, and then we'll work on getting the villagers in place. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the time lapses of me.
All right, now that those are built, it's time to get some villagers in them. Fortunately, there's actually a village relatively close. Unfortunately, we've got to go around this mountain here and then come over here. Let's make it a little bit easier for them to get over the river here. Okay, now that the villagers have a easier way to get over here, we're going to use a small trick to guide the villagers into where they need to go. And that starts with the slabs I have in my inventory. There are several ways to guide villagers, but the easiest way that I found is to get them to go after POIs. So we're going to take these and we're going to make up a bunch of composters. We're going to wait for the rain to clear. We just do this for a minute. And take and put this one here. And we'll just make a line of composters all the way to the village. And then we'll break them coming all the way back and the villager will be interested in the next one. Uh, just a matter of placing them close enough together that when we break one, the villager goes to the next one. Let's give it a shot. Oh, gotta be careful of that lava. Do we have our first contender? Yes, we do. And then I'll go to this one. I'll break it. We'll go to the next one. So on and so forth, all the way home. Uh oh. Two thousand years later. Oh, did you finally notice the job block up there? Yeah, there you go. There's one. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. There's a barrel up there for you. Yeah, good job. Okay, so basically what is going to happen? That farmer villager there, he is going to consistently and forever farm these carrots, replant them, and just constantly fill up his inventory. He'll also share the carrots with this other guy, and eventually... They'll be both be full, and they will make a baby. The baby will try to get to these beds and run over this trapdoor, falling in. They don't go through because they are exactly two blocks tall, and this trapdoor stops them from going over that gap. Now down here, we open up this. The baby villagers will fall into this chute and collect right there on that grass block. Soon, we'll add a system in here to pick the baby villagers up and transport them wherever we want to take them. Namely, the iron farm at the current moment. While we wait on them, there's a little bit of preparation we can do at the iron farm. We need a zombie. A couple ways to get a zombie. But the method we're going to use uh, is pretty simple. We are going to guide him and force him into that hole. So zombies are pretty dumb, but don't tell them that. If we open this trapdoor here, they will think that that is still closed and they will walk right over that and fall right in, right down to there, which is exactly where we need them. And we can guide them up here pretty simply because they, they'll, well, they'll chase us. 
And we can force them to come this way simply by doing some of this. And then we make it so that they can easily get up here. And then we find a zombie that can't despawn. There are two things that make a mob not despawn. One, having a name, or two, holding an item. So let's try to find some zombies that can hold some items. I've not seen a zombie, but I did see Drowned over here, right there. And for villager mechanics, Drowned will work the same as zombies. So the next question is, will it hold items? And it can be any item. As long as it holds an item. Come on, buddy. Mm, not looking like it will. Okay. Next test subject. Mm, not looking like it. Come on. Nope. Ooh, you have not a shell. I think that means you can hold items. Yes, you can. Awesome. We'll just collect our dirt really quick so he can get up here. And then we'll let him chase us up into the farm. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Ugh. He's fast. Faster than I thought. Ugh. Oh, shoot. He fell. Dang it. Just don't stop. Bye bye. Welcome to your new home. Alright, I'm gonna just clean all this stuff up. Fix the water. Put these blocks back. Now we just have to get the villagers up there. Which we should just leave this. For now, at least. And then we can use the same exact trick that we used, don't the drone. Only using job blocks and not me. So I can just set one there. And then there. And then a few along the way up here. Should actually probably set that system up before we get a baby. First thing first, this floor's got to go. Alright, we'll fix the walls in a minute. Uh, but right now we need to get this system in. Because there's going to be a baby any second. Break that. Now there shouldn't update. So if we put the glass back. This looks really weird. But trust me, it works. These need to get powered. So if I dig down here. Under each one of these. Put torch, torch. And see... Those are all powered now. I built this backwards. That rail actually needs to go under. That rail goes on top. So give me a second, I'll fix it. I'll put these back and we're good to go. One other thing I want to do really quick is I want to take care of this terrain here. Uh, this floating island for this house does not look great at all.
sure you saw at the end of that little time lapse that I also marked out where this path goes and how one would get from the base to the village. And while I was working on that path, we actually experienced the gift of life. Now we just got to wait on them to grow up so we can take them where we want to. But waiting's for people who don't have other projects. While I was waiting, I set this little area up. Not much, but it'll get the job done for now. So let's go get some villagers over here. All right, so now if we just press this button, it picks up a villager. Turn on hitboxes so I don't hit this guy. And get him out of the minecart. We should take off. Or do it, buddy. Should take off for the next POI. And the next one. And the next one. And the next one. Keep going. You can do it. I believe in you. Keep going. It's up there. There you go. Buddy. There we go. Noted. Okay, that's one in. Let's uh, fix this really quick. And uh, see if we can't get another one in. Look at me go. Come on, Vess. You can do it. And the second one's in. And the third one. And maybe not. What the heck? Still, what the heck, man? Should definitely be picking those guys up. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, buddy. And now we wait again. And the wait is over. Let's get this last guy over to the iron farm. As soon as he's in place, we gotta clean this up real quick. His iron golems can start spawning any second. See? And that should be up and running. Unfortunately, the design I went with works best at night. I think I'll AFK overnight and show you guys what we get. And our first iron is now available. And with that, I think we're going to call that an episode. Uh, before we go, we should mark the villager farm off. as well as the iron farm. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode of Vanilla Boss, and I hope to see you again next time. Till then, bye!